Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Snowcatch Today. It's me, Ella. I thought I would vlog today. Today is November <laughs> the 12th. I have a baby appointment later. Uh, it's after, what time is it? I can't see my clock. It's 10.15. My appointment is at 1, but it's the glucose test, so I have to... I can't eat, eat anything from now until after my appointment, <laughs> but I have to drink that horrible liquid. <laughs> Uh, at 12. I also take my shot because I do it at 12 now because time change. Um, and then I have to get in the car and drive to the appointment and then I have to tell them when I finish the drink. And then I have to sit in the waiting room until an hour passes after 12. Then they'll do my blood work and then I'll go into my appointment. I think. <laughs> Anyways, so I can't eat anything. But I ate earlier so I'm good. Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to vlog today and uh, did my Christmas tree. I got all my ornaments on it. I noticed earlier there's a big empty spot right here. <laughs> so I need to, some of the new ornaments that I got, uh, I still haven't labeled them. I gotta label them and hang them up in that empty spot. So it'll look good. But I, I saw something funny this morning when I was in the bathroom, you know, and I seen myself in the mirror. And I'm wearing all black, so I thought it was funny. Cause from the front, let me move stuff around. From the front, I don't look pregnant when I'm wearing, when I'm wearing all black. But I was standing and I was like, oh, you look. I look pregnant. And then it's like sideways. Yes, I do. <laughs> but I thought that was so funny uh, this morning. Because if you look at me straight on, I don't look pregnant. I don't know about from behind because I can't see from behind. I just stepped on a Lego. There it is. Legos everywhere. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just sitting here. Jesse's at school. Devin just went to bed. Went to bed a little late today. He's got to work tonight, and then he's off the weekend. So I'm sitting here working on some crochet, and I'm watching some show. I don't want to say the word, because it's kind of a bad word. Right there. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad word. It's a last name, but I don't want to get ta flagged or anything for saying it, because it sounds like a bad word. But, uh, yeah, I'm watching that, and I'm crocheting. So I'm using that cake that I showed yesterday. It's Mandela Ombre Balance. I'm using it. So far, I've made this cute little tiny hat. <laughs> it came out pink and green. I haven't woven the ends yet. And I'm going to make a little sweater that I printed out for it. I guess my breath. <laughs> so I started it. It starts at the top. So this is like the collar. It's twisted. But I'm working on it. I'm increasing that right now. And then I also printed off a booty pattern so I'm gonna try to make all three of those out of this I think I should have enough yarn because I mean these baby sweaters don't take much yarn at all and this hat didn't and the little booties won't so uh I just thought it'd be cute to make a little set for June out of all that a lot of people suggested car seat blankets which I would like to make one but I need more yarn this only has 344 yards that wouldn't be enough to make a uh, car seat blanket that is solid I want to make a solid one because she's going to be born when it's cold uh, I could probably, you know, I could have made like a V-stitch one or something. But um, while she's little, she needs an actual blanket because it's going to be cold, you know. She'll be born in late January or super early February. So we'll still have a few months of coldness after that. So, but yeah. So, what am I doing today? Just the doctor appointment today. Uh, this evening, Jessie should go to my mom's if she gets back. She's having to run an errand out of town. And uh, she does, she's not sure when she's coming back. But he really wants to go to Granny's house. He wants to go to Granny's house every single day after school. It's the first thing he asks when he gets in the car. <laughs> and he has to wait till Fridays now because, you know, of school. So, we'll take him to Mom's if, um, if she's home. If it's later, she might have to come get him because Devin does have to work tonight. I got all my orders packaged up over there in my clothes basket. <laughs> I will drop them off in the morning. Uh, I got one more. I got one this morning that I need to print and stuff and that's it that's pretty much it i'll have planned today i do have my in there you can't see it i cleaned out my fabric last night i sat down jesse was in here watching tv and was distracted so i went in there and i cleaned up my craft area a lot um because i'm trying to just organize it because it was kind of it kind of got all messed up <laughs> so i dug out some fabric for the next shop update and i got it set it out i gotta start cutting it and then I went through a bunch of fabric that I've had forever that I've just not used. So I'm going to donate that because it's just prints that I don't know if people will want. It's like older prints.
prints. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, and I organized it into like outers and liners, and I just made it nice and pretty, you know. And all my handles material, my cotton webbing was all like messed up, so I wound it up nice and pretty. And I organized my glue gun and all my zippers because I had zippers everywhere, <laughs> so I organized them by size, and it looks a lot nicer in there. I had two printers. And the reason I have two printers is because one was the original one I had, which is a Canon one. I got it on Black Friday 2019 because it was the last Black Friday. That was like an actual Black Friday, but, you know, a store full of people. <laughs> um, and I, it's hard to keep ink for it because it uses like the most common Canon ink. So it's always sold out. So I got an HP printer so I could do the, the ink through the mail, which is nice. It works out really good. You know, they send you ink whenever you need it. But the printer is slow as heck. And it paper jams constantly. Like, I could put three pieces of paper in it and it will jam up. So, I unhooked that one and I'm donating it. <laughs> I'm going to let that be somebody else's problem. I am going to put a note on there that it works, but that it uh, paper jams. Because maybe someone who knows how to fix printers can fix it. But, um, and it was a really cheap printer. It was like 30-something uh, bucks when I bought it. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick with my Canon one. Because <laughs> it never uh, messes up on me and it prints super fast. It's like a jet printer. So yeah, uh, so I, I got that disconnected and I, I still need to tape the cord to it so it doesn't get lost and I'm going to put that note on there. I always put notes on stuff when I donate it so that people know that it does work. I just don't want it anymore. Let me get my clothes rack. So I got this pile of stuff in the floor. That's donated. This trash bag is clothes. This other bag is fabric, wherever it's at. <laughs> fabric scraps that I don't plan on using and then fabric pieces that... <sighs> I don't think people would buy his bags. Underneath that is a box of books <laughs> and then the printer. So now my cr other craft stuff right here is nice and organized. It looks pretty. My little printer is just sitting here. It's not stacked. It was double stacked. This pink thing has my printer paper in it and my label paper. And then this is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. These are bags that are still in the shop. Yeah, I cleaned up. <laughs> And then in here, on top of the washer and dryer, this is stuff that goes to my sister whenever she comes by. <laughs> this is stuff. Don't look Beverly. Don't look in that bag. <laughs> this is Beverly's yarn swap. Uh, the parts that I got together so far. I'm still working on it. Um, it's just in this reusable bag for now and because I have to go to the post office to get some priority boxes. Because I have some, but I only have tiny ones. And then over here is my stack of Christmas plates and things. So I got the little milk jug for putting out for Santa. I only ever put water in it because you can't see down in it. So Jesse, if he looks, he can't tell if it's milk or not. And then that way I don't have to actually clean it. I can just drain it and I'll have to get, you know, like old milk out of it. Because <laughs> that would be gross. Jesse's advent thing that I made. Someone sent me the fabric and then I sewed it together. Gosh, 2018 or 2019. Because it's not time to hang that up yet. Our stockings are over here because I used them as like padding for my plates. That one was gifted to me last year. And then I got the cookie plate. Well, no, that's not it. That's just a, no, the Christmas plate. There, that's the Christmas, the cookie plate that we put uh, Santa's cookies on. I got that at Clarence at uh, Hobby Lobby. Another one under there. And these are like platter plates that I take stuff to my sisters and my in-laws. That's just going to stay there until time to use them. <laughs> I did a lot of cleaning in here. I don't know if it's noticeable to people who aren't me. <laughs> but I need to do something about that. But not today. <laughs> not today. But here's the fabric that's going to be in the next shop update. There's some. I just picked some regular prints. And then there are some more Christmas prints under there. Winter prints. I got my cutting pad and stuff ready. Just for whenever I feel like coming in here and setting down and doing it. I might do that a little bit tonight and some tomorrow. Then I gotta cut the batting, which is annoying, but I will do it. I'm gonna check on my plants real fast. They're looking good. Okay. <laughs> I haven't really checked on them in a few days. Woo, so yeah. That's what I'm doing this morning. I'm just sitting here waiting for time for my appointment. Oh my next appointment is supposed to be on the the Friday after Thanksgiving, but I'm assuming they're going to be closed that day. So I don't know if they're going to make it before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving. It's going to be ultrasound to check her growth. <sighs> <I guess we're> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> and uh, yeah. Anyways, I've been talking for 10 minutes. So I'm going to hop off here, watch some of my show, and work some more on this little sweater. And I'll catch up with you guys later today. I have to drink this now. It smells good, but I know it's real flat. I remember from Je when Jesse, when I when I was pregnant with Jesse, that it's like it tastes like a flat soda that's had ice melt in it. <laughs> it's like a really watered down, shaken up orange soda. <laughs> but I have to drink this in the next ten minutes, and then head on to my appointment, and then wait in the waiting room forever. But I got my crochet packed. I got my wallet and my keys. I have my phone in my hand. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink or eat anything. <laughs> but that's okay. I will catch up with you guys later. This is really cold. It said to keep refrigerated until you drink it. So I gotta chug it and uh, hope that it's not too horrible. <laughs> it's been like six years since I did it. So I don't know. All right, here we go. Cheers. <laughs> We finally found some. Um, um, um. <laughs> Chew it up, get okay. Hey guys, just locking the door. <laughs> All right, I'm watching Home Alone, the first one. We watched the second one the other day. Oh. Uh, I don't know why we watched the second one first but we did i guess i think it was jesse or something i don't know anyways my mom just left with jesse Whew, i'm tired it's been a long day Devin already left for work i'm sitting here got the christmas tree on watching a christmas movie dishwasher's running i guess Devin started it because i didn't but woo either way um but yeah so i just wanted to hop on here doctor appointment went really good um the timing was weird though. Whoever scheduled my appointment last time didn't think ahead. <laughs> Cause I, this appointment was my glucose test. And uh, we live about 30 minutes away from where my doctor is. Cause there's no OBs here in the town that I live in. I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, the only OB that was here closed uh, years and years ago before I was even pregnant with Jesse. Um, so my, they told me last time, drink my glucose. Uh, when I leave the house to go to my appointment so I can get there 30 minutes early and wait and then get my blood drawn at my appointment time. Well, they made my appointment for 1 o'clock and their office is closed from 12 to 1 for lunch. So I took, I drank the glucose at 12, drove to the doctor, and then that's when I remembered that they were closed between 12 and 1. So I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so they luckily they have chairs outside because it's inside a building. So I, I was waiting. And I was inside of a building waiting. Not outside. <laughs> but uh, I was outside their building. Their doors. Whatever. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Um, waiting. And I was crocheting on my little baby sweater that I just started. Got most of it done. I got to do that sleeve. I just got one sleeve done. Got to do that sleeve. And uh, I think that's it. Just the other sleeve. <laughs> and... Um, time was ticking you know and I knew because you have to get your blood drawn an hour after you drank your glucose and uh, they all opened at one <laughs> luckily the the receptionist lady came back from her lunch early, a little bit early so I got in there at like 12 50 something and I, I was explaining to her <laughs> what they tell me so they had to send me to actually a blood office down the hallway to go ahead and get my blood drawn and then they, they were going to send it to them because their lady that does blood in that office was already gone or still gone for lunch so I did get my blood drawn on time and then 
I got an ultrasound because they were checking her growth and she's on track. She's actually measuring a head, <laughs> which is the same thing Jessie did. So I'm just sure she's going to be a big baby too. Jessie was nine pounds and one ounces. And uh, she's measuring two and a half pounds. And so two pounds, eight ounces right now. And her head was measuring 28 weeks, five days. So that's almost two weeks bigger <laughs> than what she's supposed to be. Because uh, today I'm 27 weeks, two days. And that's exactly how Jessie did. So she's probably going to be a big chunky monkey like Jessie was. Which is okay. It's just, um, I hope she's not too much bigger. Because <laughs> Jessie was a big baby. And, uh, but yeah. So, and then I had my regular appointment, you know, where you just talk to your doctor. The hole in her heart that she had closed. So that's good. So her heart is normal now. And they're still watching my placenta because it's shaped weird. And I got to go back. Uh, to another appointment on the 23rd. Uh, it's supposed to go on the 26th, but it's, it's the day after Thanksgiving. So they, they put it on the 23rd, which is good because Devin's off work that day. So uh, he gets to go with me. <laughs> and they made it in the morning, so I don't have to rush about getting Jesse home from school. It's at 10 something or something like that. I got the card <laughs> somewhere. But um, yeah, so everything was good. I was so hungry when we got out of there that I went to Hardee's and got me some chicken strips and ate them on the way home. <laughs> and um, I took a back road home because there was a lot of people in town because uh, it was lunchtime. So all the people and all the businesses were out getting lunch. It took me forever to get home because <laughs> there's so much traffic. And on the back road, I ran into construction that I had to yield for. And by the time I got back to my town, it was time to pick up Jesse. Uh, I got back. I got into the school pickup line at 2.33. Wait, I normally go over there at like 2.40. So I just sat and parked to turn off the car and I crocheted on my sweater some more. So I made this whole sweater pretty much today except this one sleeve. I finished this uh, one side sleeve. And I gotta do that one. I think that's all that's left of the sweater. It's just the two sleeves. Yeah. So I'm and then weaving in the ends and then buttons. But... I had to buy buttons because I don't think I have any that would go with this yarn. But I did make a baby sweater today, mostly. <laughs> I can't get it to lay right, but it's cute. And I also made this little hat. I made this before I went to my appointment. Uh, it's really cute. And then if I have enough yarn left, which I think I should, uh, I'm going to make little booties and possibly little mittens. <laughs> I'm just trying to use up that whole skein of yarn or that whole cake of yarn to uh, get it gone out of my stash. And then I'm going to grab another ball and do the same thing. Because I need to work through some of my yarn. Because um, it's just sitting around taking up space. I need to use it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, in a nutshell, that was today. And then me and Jesse came home and woke up Devin. He got to sleep a little bit later than normal because I was late getting home. Uh, and then we just sat here and just hung out and loved on each other. <laughs> I was loving all over Jesse because I knew he was going to be leaving tonight to go to my mom's. So, I snuggled with him and we started watching this movie. My sister finally found whew, some of these we call them christmas cookies but they're the north pole um nutty buddies these are jesse's favorite cookies whoops i just threw one on the floor um those are his favorite cookies ever and they only come out around the holidays and we were having such a hard time finding them we checked oh lord <laughs> we checked um walmart save a lot and three local dollar generals for those things and could not find them but my sister came through <laughs> she i had her looking for them and my mom was looking for them and uh she found some at a walmart and she bought me four packs of them <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna try to get more actually too if i see them i'm gonna buy them because jesse loves them and uh, he doesn't like the regular nanny buddies he likes the christmas ones and the easter ones because they got white chocolate on them and I guess he, they just taste better to him. So I always try to stock up on them to get them to last. Uh, last year we had so many of the Christmas ones that they actually expired a little bit. We, we still ate them because food doesn't magically go bad as soon as it, it expired. Her best by date, you know. But uh, So we got four boxes out, so that's good. <laughs> but yeah, that was my day today. It was hectic and run around since like 12. And um, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I'm hoping I pass my glucose. Um... They said they'll let me know probably Monday or Tuesday. They'll call me and let me know. I don't know. I felt really weird after drinking it this time. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous about that. <clears throat> I definitely felt it hit me. 
like the sugar rush or whatever. <laughs> and I was feeling shaky. I'm shaking right now. But it's just because I'm holding my hand a weird way. Do that. <laughs> but I started feeling shaky and like just not well, you know. And uh, so I don't know. We'll have to just see. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, so far so good. I'm going to stay here and watch some more of this. I think I'll finish up this little baby sweater and work on the booties. I printed off a booty pattern too. I don't actually have any of these patterns names with me. I got them on my computer, but I just printed them off really quick to take with me today because I knew I'd, I'd have a lot of time sitting and waiting at the doctor and at the school. So yeah, I got um, a lot done today, kind of crochet wise and baby doctor wise. <laughs> so tomorrow's the weekend. Devin's off all weekend. I don't know if we're gonna do anything. <laughs> we might get into something because usually me and him does, especially if Jesse's at my mom's, we'll run around and do shopping and stuff. We're pretty much done for Christmas. There's a couple more things I'd like to get Jesse, but it's not like important because we got him a lot of stuff already. Uh, and I need to get some more stuff and stop stocking stuffers. I forgot what it was called. And I need to get some fabric. I need some liner fabric. So I might go do that tomorrow. I need to check and see if Hobby Lobby's got fabric on sale or yarn. I actually think yarn's on sale this week. I have to check. Um, but yeah, so my plans tonight, I told Devin is I'm just going to watch a Christmas movie and crochet until I get tired and then I'm going to go to bed because <laughs> I'm already, I woke up tired this morning. I just, you know, I guess because being pregnant and I just had a tired day, but yeah, I was laying on the couch earlier and I almost fell asleep waiting for my mom to come. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to probably get something to eat here in a little bit, or at least a snack. Drink some more water because my doctor told me I drank a lot of water today because of that sugar drink. So I've been drinking a lot of it after that. And uh, I'm just going to chill and crochet and I might, I might pop back up. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of a boring vlog today, but I just wanted to take you guys along. I miss doing videos every day. I'm looking forward to Vlogmas. I think it's going to be so much fun. And because uh, I enjoy coming on every night and talking to you guys. My TV just went to sleep. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. I like it. So tomorrow I do gotta go to the post office, drop off all you guys' orders. Um, and I got some packages I need to pick up. I don't know, I might take some clips over the next few days since Devin's off and then I might mush them together for a vlog next week sometime. I don't know, but I'll catch up with you guys later or I will end it here, I don't know, we'll see.